Hey everyone, it's Mezi from Mezi Smells. How are you all doing? Uh, thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, today I am going to show you a simple pesto pasta lunch or dinner. It's going to be quick, healthy and very easy to do. Uh, I will do a quick salad to go with it also. I have been doing uh, kitchen essential videos. I have done a couple of them. I was gonna do a third one, but I wanted to throw in this video in between the second and the third video. The third one is coming up soon, um, and I hope you would like that one too. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching all my videos. And if there is anyone that haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Your subscription is so important to me. And also please hit the notification button. Whenever I have a video out, you'll get notified. And without further ado, let's go to the kitchen and start cooking. Stay with me. I am starting by boiling some pasta water. Uh, and then I added some salt uh, because the salt is going to give the pasta a little bit flavor. Then for the pesto, I am preparing some pine nuts. Here I am roasting it a little bit. It's one fourth cup of uh, pine nuts. Roasting it is going to give it a good flavor. So I roast it until it gets a little dark, maybe brown color. Then I take it off of the heat. Then I am going to boil my pasta. The water is boiling right now. This is the kind of pasta I'm using. This is a bow tie pasta, but it has different colors. So colorful. It is an organic pasta, but you could use any pasta you love uh, or you have in your pantry. It's so simple and easy to use. So we're going to let the pasta cook for about 9-10 minutes until it's boiled or according to the package instruction. Then while the pasta is cooking, we are going to do our pesto. So here I am using about a cup and a half spinach. Uh, you could use kale also uh, here. So, But I have spinach, so I'm using spinach. Then um, I'm using about half a cup or a cup basil leaves. Then I am using half a cup parmesan cheese uh, you could use also mixed italian cheese if you want then i am adding my pine nuts uh, here you could use any kind of nut you want uh, sometimes pine nuts could be a little bit pricey so you could use walnut or another nuts that you have in your home i used half a lemon juice and then half a cup extra virgin olive oil here and i am using salt and also some black pepper here um and then um uh, we are going to blend actually uh after the black pepper i used some uh cracked paper about a teaspoon cracked paper just to give it that zinc that spice a little bit uh, and then I um, also used some lemon zest over here. You could use also lime zest. It gives it a good flavor, you know, with the lime juice and everything. Uh, so just pretty simple and so easy. You can whip this up in, I don't know, 10 minutes after the pasta is boiled. Your pesto is done. You have a good healthy pretty lunch so now we're blending our delicious pesto here and um here we go it's blending and once it is done this is what it looks like so pretty and green so after this we're going to pour this over our hot pasta the pasta is done so colorful. I love this color pasta. And then add your pesto over it. It's good to add it while the pasta is hot and then just mix it well. Look at this, so, so looking good. And I still see how hot it is on this video. Like it's covering my camera. <laughs> and then um, I am going to grate some more uh, 
fresh parmesan cheese on here if you want you could do that it's optional but it gives it good flavor then mix it well once you you have done this then it's ready to be served for lunch or dinner my kids love it i'm sure your kids would love it too here i am serving it on a on a bowl which i love to eat out of a bowl i guess <laughs> and then just um eat it for dinner lunch uh take it to work with you um I mean, and it's so simple. You just can get up in the morning and make this and take it uh, for lunch to work. Um, and you can also keep it in the fridge. The more you keep it in the fridge, the flavor is amazing. So now, as I promised, I'm going to make a salad to go with our pasta. So here I have some chopped romaine salad. And then I'm adding some grape tomatoes. You could use Rom Roma tomatoes or any other tomato you have in your house. It doesn't have to be grape tomatoes. I have some chopped cucumber here. Uh, and then I'm going to add some uh, sweet peppers, like the mini peppers I have in my house. And a little bit of jalapenos and some red onion, chopped red onion. I am also adding some feta cheese. You don't have to add this, but you can also use Italian cheese here or any cheese that you like. But I love feta and I am going to squeeze some lemon or lime on my salad. Then add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on my salad. Then I'm going to add salt and pepper. I'm adding um, pink salt here because I love uh, pink salt just to finish salad and things like that. Then add um, some black pepper, then mix it well and serve it with my um, salad, with my pasta. And it is going to be really, really good. So as I said, this is good for anything for meal prepping uh, for a side dish you can also add like some grilled chicken on your pasta some grilled beef or fish or shrimp anything and it goes well with so many things i hope you enjoyed this and you're going to make it thank you so much for watching it I hope you like this simple and easy pasta recipe and you're going to make them. If you do, please let me know. Tag me on Instagram. Send me a picture at Maisie's Meals on Instagram. Also on Facebook, Maisie's Meals. Um, and also I have a website that I have a lot of recipe on it. You can go ahead and check it out. It's maisiesmeals.com and I have so many things on there too. Uh, so until the next video, uh, keep on cooking, keep on eating, and keep on eating healthy. Don't go out and spend your money on bad food. <laughs> and I will see you next time. God bless you and keep you safe. Bye.